Hey, 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 what is crack a lacking, guys? That is right. It is a beautiful Tuesday, April 20th, 2021. And me and my mimble are chilling right there. Wait, wait. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we are chilling right now. We are ready to go as we are kicking off our morning announcements, guys. So cool. So rad. Hey, we're just going to jump right in today. Hey, guys, as you guys know, we are in our readathon right now, and it has started. And the goal of our reading thon is to raise funds to continue the reading revolution. And so check it out where we're at right now. All right, so here we are, here we are, here we are right now. So cool, guys. We have just begun right now. We have just begun. We've already raised $495 as an entire school. So check it out, scholars. Work with your teachers and get your own unique URL. It is so rad where you get your own webpage and start to send that out to your family, especially with your family and tell them that you are raising money for your school for our reading revolution. Again, specifically, we are putting in those little libraries in our neighborhoods. We are getting more and more books for you scholars and doing a few renovations in our outside areas so that we can actually have reading centers and, and um, areas. So it's so cool right there, guys. All right, well, as Miss Tackett does every week, and she does an amazing job, we have the Superhero Characteristic Challenge. And this uh, month, it is on responsibility. A few scholars have already started, guys. Go ahead and go to her channel, which is Together We Can Become Superheroes. And then you can go ahead and fill it out right there. All right, cool beans, guys. Well, let's see what else we got going on here. Hey, check it out. I have a special announcement for just you sixth graders. Check it out right here. Hope. It's fun. Teamwork. Friends. A place to push yourself outside your comfort zone. A driving force of change. A place where we can set examples for all students. Renaissance is a club that helps students and staff feel loved, at home, and celebrated. Well, during a normal school year, we make posters. We make eagle news. We bring pizza and donuts to heroes and their classes. We throw pep rallies. We run Make-A-Wish and make your dreams come true. We make honor cards and give class projects. We throw honor card surprises like movies and nacho cheese chips. Pop into your classes and give you prizes in your store. We throw student of the month. We host voting for staffulty winners. We do what we can to make you smile. To help you soar. To let your sparkle shine. We lead. We motivate. But we still have fun. We learned how to sell our own monster stuffed animals. We make bullet journals. We made up our own fantasy world like Harry Potter. We did leadership novel studies. We played some games. We worked together to make virtual events. And so much more. To learn. To have opportunities for adventure. To gain long life learning experiences. To make friends. To make your school a better place. To make a difference. To be part of something bigger. To be a family. To make an impact. To lead us all to a better and better future. Alrighty, wasn't that pretty rad right there, guys? So look, uh, sixth graders, if you want to be in Renaissance, and, and it doesn't matter if, you were, if you're in Renaissance this year or not, they want to invite you to become part of this amazing um, opportunity 
where you get to make impact on people's lives. You get to help build your legacy, help build other scholars' legacy, guys. It is so much fun. You will feel like you are so close to a tight-knit family there. I highly, highly, super highly recommend that you guys apply and that you guys get involved. Okay, We just don't want to go to school and then go home. Right, and then become this boring repetition where it's this thing where I just go to school, hang out with my friends, and I go, man, get involved, man. When you get involved, it becomes so much more rich. And so, I wanted to encourage you guys to uh, to do that right there. So, all right, guys, well, keep it on going on right here. The Pacer uh, Book Fair is starting, and it has already begun. Come on down to the library, especially after school with your parents. Uh, but there's also some time slots that Miss Markov had already. Uh, created for every class to go and see it. But yes, it is it is open, it is alive, it is well, and it is off the hook. Oh, we have the um, the popcorn ready to go, yo. That is right, we are ready, and it is an awesome time. It's going to be tomorrow, so all Green Lanterns. That's right, because you guys were marches, superhero winners. Come on out on Wednesday tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. during the lunch or the food distribution. Come on out, guys. It's going to be so rad. And also, uh, since these were last month's top reader winners, congratulations. We are having our movie night on Thursday, April 22nd at 7.30 p.m. And you're going to be able to watch it two ways. You can either watch it live on um, Teams or you can actually come into school and we're going to have this huge inflatable screen. It is going to be so rad, guys. And we have now opened it up to everybody. We still have slots available which means that even if you're not on one of these guys' um, classes, you can still join. You have to do one thing. Your parents must call, and you can reserve a spot. It's going to be a lot of fun to, just to come out with your family and uh, watch the movie in the car right there. So, so cool. All right, guys. Well, on Thursday, we have our Expresso Yourself. We have these once a month, and I want to invite um, all you scholars and your parents. We're going to have a, a, a just a really great time. One of the main focuses is going to be on paper education. So if that's focusing on for grades three through six, um, we have this tutoring company, and uh, they're going to give a little presentation on it, but then we also have some other neat stuff um, as well. So come on out, guys. It is going to be super, super rad. Well, guys, we, we missed Mumble, Mimble Monday. <laughs> I missed it. So I wanted to show you guys this our first of a series of videos that we're going to have of the different activities that, that we can do with our Mimble, so check it out. What's up, Almond family? I heard you guys got some Mimble balls about a month ago. This is Gabe, this is my Mimble ball here. Um, and the counseling team and I would like to put these videos together to demonstrate how you can use your Mimble ball at home, at school, or wherever you may need it. So this week, our very first intro week, we would like to show you how to use your Mimble ball for meditation. Hello everyone. So today we're gonna to learn how to use our Mimble Ball for meditation. So what is meditation? Meditation is a way that you can calm yourself down if you're having sad or angry or upset feelings. Um, and so you can make yourself happy and forget that, those, that you have those feelings. So what you're gonna do is make sure you have your Mimble Ball. This is my Mimble Ball, Thimble. And what you're gonna do is either you're gonna sit down or stand up and you're gonna grab your Mimble Ball, make sure you have it with two hands and then you're gonna close your eyes, okay? So make sure your eyes are closed, and then you're gonna do some really deep breathing. You're gonna breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. That was so rad right there. Thank you, Miss Marielle. Thank you, Miss Adriana. Both of you guys just um, jumping in there and helping us use our mimbles. All right, y'all. Well, you guys know what time it is. It's all time to read. We read. We read. We read. We read. What? We read. We read. We read. We read. Come on. We read. 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 All right. Well, let's go ahead and make this a great day or not. The choice is yours. 